Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to talk to you today about uh, Fileverse and something uh, around on-chain collaboration and creativity. Um, the whole idea of this uh, talk is basically just to introduce people to what we like to call uh, the composable social consumer crypto stack. So everybody in 2020 were super hyped about the DeFi stack. You had MakerDAO that created the yield on top of a stable coin. Then Compound came on top, then Yearn, then Sushi, then a bunch of those uh, applications and protocols. And it, it really, I think, was quite revolutionary in the way that people uh, interacted with that, uh, mainly because their liquidity, their money could actually be in like three protocols at once. And through that, uh, they were getting some of the features of the different protocols. Now, we're three years later and we have a new type of uh, stack, a uh, stack that is not just financial, a uh, stack that is actually much more social and the type of stack that uh, your grandmother and grandfather can actually use rather than requiring financial literacy. So I'm going to introduce that stack and what we've been doing with it and using IPFS uh, on top. Oh, by the way, for those who want, this is a QR code uh, to get uh, exclusive access uh, to Fileverse. We're in allow list mode at the moment. Uh, and it works on phone, you can deploy it on phone, but I recommend using it on desktop where you can have the full version of it. Quick, introdu uh, quick introduction of myself. I'm the co-founder of Fileverse. I'm completing my PhD on AI and cybersecurity. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work on commons-based peer production, AI and civil attacks. And uh, my team and I, we run validators and nodes all over the world. We think geographic decentralization is super important and not put forward enough in uh, the crypto space. So we take it upon ourselves. Now, to the juice of the presentation, I want to show you what you can do actually already today by mixing a bunch of technologies uh, and a bunch of protocols without any restrictions. I think everybody is familiar with uh, Farcaster here. Yeah? Anybody has a Farcaster account? No, no one? All right. So, Farcaster has 200,000 uh, uh, users at the moment. It's probably the uh, fastest growing uh, DAP or protocol in crypto. And it is basically just a Twitter feed uh, for the crypto, uh, uh, the crypto space. Now, Frames is probably what created the biggest amount of hype around Farcaster. Why? Because it's a window, it's a frame into uh, smart contracts, for example, that live outside of the Farcaster protocol and outside of the Farcaster app that you're interacting with. So, what does that mean? Why is it even exciting? It means that when you're scrolling through your feed, when you're exactly where you want to be, like with your social circle, with people that you like, you see all the information, blah, blah, blah. Think Twitter alternative. One of the biggest issues with getting people to try something outside of your feed, meaning where you actually want to stay and be, is that you click on a link that somebody posted on Twitter or on Firecaster, there is friction, you go to another website, a tab is opened up, uh, it loads, it's a lot of wait time, it's annoyance, people don't want to do that. Uh, to get someone to actually click on a link of yours, of your app, uh, on Twitter, on Farcaster, is uh, really difficult. You get, uh, for every click, there is 70% of your users, potential users, that disappear. Frames allow you to stay on your feed, and while you're on your feed, you can interact with somebody's DAP or a protocol or a smart contract while staying on the app that you want to be on. Meaning, you create simultaneous users on multiple DAPs and protocols. Uh, why is that cool? It's cool because 
of the 200, uh, yeah, <laughs> on the 200,000, I think, weekly active users that uh, uh, Farcaster has, Fiverr can make a bunch of those users, maybe all of them, also simultaneously Fiverr users, while keeping them where they want to be, meaning on Farcaster uh, feed which is absolutely amazing. You, you take away all the friction from getting someone from a feed to an actual app. So I'm gonna show you our latest experiment. This is something we did for East Denver. It took us seven days, it was a sprint, and we wanted to show how cool it could be and how you could bring IRL vibes on chain. So, this is the frame. You can basically pick one of your uh, favorite uh, speakers of East Denver and you can send them on chain uh, some love, uh, meaning some ERC 1155 uh, tokens that represent a second each. And it shows in a provable manner on chain that, okay, I'll stop here real quick, that Lawrence, for example, received over 25,000 seconds from people engaging with his profile. So we built a DAP also that is outside of uh, uh, the frame where you can see a graph view of uh, the conference, details about the speakers, their talk, uh, which area, etc. And at the same time, you can engage with them in a way that is pretty, uh, pretty cool. So this was very popular. Um, uh, some speakers got the equivalent in seconds of 15 hours of people engaging with the profile, which was really amazing. Now, this was uh, the first frame we did, and it was uh, uh, just for this conference. And the second one I'm going to show you is probably my favorite, the one I consider uh, very cool. I'll show you right now. So. For this one, we made, uh, ah, sorry Z start. So, uh, Paul Dylan Ennis is a Irish academic, if I'm not mistaken. He writes often with uh, Vitalik. Uh, he wrote a book called The Absolute Essentials of Ethereum. He published it a month ago. And we decided to put his book, in collaboration with him, of course, on IPFS, meaning on Fileverse. Uh, that book is served through a, a Farcaster feed via a frame, and people can start reading and flicking through the book instead of clicking on an Amazon link, being redirected, loading the page on a new tab, uh, etc. They can stay on their feed, start flicking, if they're not interested, they move on. If they are interested, they continue flicking. And we added this uh, part, which is the heartbeat, we call it, bit with uh, B-I-T rather than B-E-A-T, which is very cool. Um, and as you read through, you generate some on-chain proof of your engagement with uh, uh, the author's book. It's amazing, why? Because Paul doesn't, uh, need to depend on uh, Fiverr to provide him with the analytics, with a sense of uh, how successful his book was. He can actually go on chain, go on due analytics and see that his book received over three hours of people reading actually the pages and all that is provable information through uh, on chain analytics. Now, there are a few other really cool things about this. Every heartbeat that uh, gets minted also comes with, in the metadata, uh, IPFS hash pointing back to the book, which is also stored on IPFS. So you have uh, both the information itself that is on IPFS and the social engagement and analytics uh, that have uh, reference through IPFS. Another very cool part of uh, those frames that we're building is that we're building it with really a bunch of tools that are available today, meaning we're using safe multisigs uh, to create a, uh, a uh, address that stores this uh, uh, IPFS hash on chain. 
uh, that Safe Multisig deploys a smart contract, a uh, part of a smart contract that acts as a registry for all the IPFS hashes. Uh, we use Pimlico uh, to enable that safe uh, uh, contract, and uh, the deployment of the smart contract happens on base. So you see here we're using over six different protocols without ever interacting with them, just to create this uh, amazing experience that doesn't require um, any permissions or anything of the sort. So this is a QR code to actually try out uh, the app I was telling you about, the mini app that we created in seven days. Uh, it's just everything you have about Eat Denver uh, condensed in an open graph view. It's really cool. Uh, I, I hope you like it. And it has this specificity, which uh, a lot of the crypto organizations I know kind of forget about, which is it is uh, mobile compatible. So um, last few things. Those were uh, the tests we did in the past month and a half. They were super successful. Uh, the frames got, uh, one frame got 800 likes, the other 500, uh, etc. They were recasted by uh, everyone and their grandmother. And uh, it really showed us that, okay, you don't need to keep your DAP isolated and wait for people to realize that your DAP is super important, it solves some problems, how are we going to get them uh, on there? you can use crypto native distribution channels like Farcaster and Frames. So now that we have those proofs of concept with the frames that we made, we are preparing for the next stage, which is actually deploying more of Fileverse onto a frame and onto uh, those crypto native distribution channels like Farcaster. So what does that mean? Fileverse is basically a trustless alternative to Notion to Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drive. Uh, it's built in a way that is completely yours from the moment you create your account. Your, your account is just the deployment of a smart contract. You have your own end-to-end -end encryption keys and you store directly on IPFS. If you don't want to store on IPFS, you can keep things locally or even try some other uh, storage layers. So I'm gonna show you what you can do, for example, on Fileverse. Uh, I took this because I really like the, the blog post that you guys uh, recently published. Um, so you see the UI here. Oh, sorry. Ah, no. The gods of live demos. So uh, for anyone using uh, Notion, it's exactly the same type of uh, UX UI. It's super smooth. Uh, we have a few things that uh, Notion does not have, like an uh, index right there that is clickable. You can have tables, you can have, sorry, the internet uh, at East Denver is notoriously bad. Um, wow, the pixels. Um, it is, uh, actually, let me show you like that. Even better, super. So this is on Fiverr. Um, everything you see here, uh, you can find it both on IPFS and on chain, uh, on Gnosis chain, actually. Uh, and at the end, you'll see that there is a proof of the uh, IPFS hash. There is a proof of uh, in which smart contract it was, uh, the IPFS hash was stored. And you have also the address of the author. I'll remind you that this doesn't have to be an EOA. It can be a safe multi-sig. So in the same way that people are really excited about a multi-sig allowing a group of anons globally to manage funds together, you can extend that to a group of anons globally managing an uh, archive together, a digital garden together, a website together, all using IPFS, smart contracts for access permissions, uh, a bunch of L2s uh, for uh, easy onboarding and collaboration, etc. So this is what Fivers can do, and we're going to bring now uh, this and some of the functionalities of Fivers, like 
file sharing and uh, live collaboration between people on a document onto a frame and onto Farcaster. And the big idea here is to actually let people remain in their favorite uh, place where their social circle is, and at the same time use uh, Fiverr's uh, smart contract. Uh, because of the past frame's uh, success, we're pretty confident that this is going to uh, be very successful as well. Now, last little slide, and I swear I'm done. Okay. Actually, this is a pretty basic slide. So, the idea is we're building a collaboration stack that cannot rug you. If our team dies tomorrow, you can continue using the DAP, you can continue accessing your data, you can continue collaborating with people. Uh, if our team sells out, which I doubt very strongly, uh, you can continue using the DAP, you can fork it, you can plug and play. If you like something that HackMD is doing, you can plug that in to the file versus uh, smart contracts and UI. The UI is a static, uh, uh, static website stored on IPFS as well. You never need to interact with any file uh, servers. Um, and you can do basically everything that you do with Google Suite and Notion, but in a way that is privacy preserving, trustless, unruggable, and opens up a new design space, for example, global anons, getting together, managing stuff, uh, data, files, archives, websites together. Voila, thanks for listening. Thank you.